Hello and welcome to the Hidden Heart Part 6 a tale that continues to unravel the hidden mysteries of a love story but before we begin let me introduce myself my name is Khadija and I'm not just a narrator I'm here to bring your story to life whether it's a brand a message or a vision with my voiceover experience, I can work with companies, brands and advertising agencies across the globe from storytelling that captivates to dynamic promotional voices for YouTube, Instagram and explainer videos. My voice can be a bridge to connect you with your audience. So if you are looking for someone who can convey emotion, capture attention and deliver with professionalism, feel free to reach out. I'm here to bring authenticity to every word, just like in the story you're about to hear. Without further delay, let's step back into the world of Hidden Heart, where every secret waits to be revealed. You're watching part 6. If you want to watch the other parts of the story, you can click the link in the description below. So let's move on to our story. Joshua and George boarded their first class flight to Switzerland, eager to solve the mystery. On the flight, they discussed everything that had happened, trying to make sense of it all. After dinner, they finally arrived in Switzerland at 10 p.m. The chilly air greeted them and they booked rooms at the Grand Hotel in Switzerland, where they settled in for a quick rest. After a few hours, they packed some food and took a cab to the deep snowy jungle where Emily's old address was. Emily's neighbors had said she was camping in the woods nearby. When they reached the camping site, they were shocked by what they saw. Emily was happily eating noodles, laughing and watching TV by the campfire. Surprised, Joshua and George asked her, Emily, you told us you were sick. Why did you lie? Emily looked a little embarrassed but smiled and explained, yeah, I don't know how do I explain you guys, but I really needed a break from work. I asked our boss Emma many times, but she wouldn't approve it. So I decided to hide away, here to rest. But please guys, don't tell Emma. If she finds out, she'll fire me. Joshua and George promised to keep her secret and left, heading back to their hotel. But as they entered their room, they saw a note waiting on the sofa. Stay away from Emily or else. The next day, Emily called them with a worried voice. I got a note, she said. And it was written, you are mine, just mine. Who could be behind all these mysterious messages? Like and subscribe for part 7.